so much more in today's world, and that's exactly what you'll get when you head to Plano's Matador Meat and Wine. They'll help you choose the slice of a uh, slice of beef or bratwurst uh, that fits your family's menu along with the right wine to accompany it. And co-owner Matt Peterson's here with a delicious steak, prime rib. What are we making today? We're going to make a filet today. Filet. We're make a filet. Yeah, it looks is, delicious. This is the perfect uh, get out of jail free card if you're... Uh... <laughs> If, you if you're in the doghouse, if you're in the doghouse, this is the this is the perfect uh, perfect way to get out of it. So that's a great tip. I'm going to yeah. pass that on to Bill. I need to tell everybody first of all that we love your place. We met uh, Matt and his beautiful wife Colleen mm -hmm. through our, our new food show, Taste Texas, that's right, right. and we got to know them. I got to go to the store, and then on Father's Day, I sent my mother-in-law over. I did. I met her, beautiful woman, nice, great, well, great lady. Yeah, just sweet as can be. And she loaded up on all the great beef that you see there, that ground beef, and then she got us some. Uh, what did we get? Bratwurst, the jalapeno she and had a cheese. A whole bunch stuff of sausages. Ones. Yeah. So anyway, I, this is a this is a personal plug only because we really enjoyed it it was really good and I love the fact that y'all are a local butcher but a butcher you're a local butcher, butcher. and um, and and you're great you're a great guy too we like you a lot thanks so um tell me about yep. what we're making we're gonna make um we're gonna make some prime tenderloin mm -hmm. or filet mignon um with a mushroom blue you cheese the sauce best of the broadcast didn't we you? did you know we didn't <laughs> we didn't chance on you Amy thank you so I'm gonna have you season that a little bit with okay. a, got a little bit of kosher salt there all right and Just a I little like, bit? Yeah, all hit, hit all sides of it, on it. Got that. And then a little bit of black pepper there on there, and we should be good. Um, cast iron skillet, this is a great way to do it inside. Um, a lot of people think that if you live in an apartment or a townhome, you don't have a grill, or it's rainy or nasty outside, uh -huh. you can't cook steak. Um, that's, that's not, not true. true. That's right. If you've got a good cast iron skillet or oven uh, safe skillet, mm -hmm. this is a really good way. Now go ahead and just pop that in there. Okay, is that good enough? I really got yep. it. Throw that in. Oh, before we do there. that, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in I there. I was gonna ask you, do you want a little yeah, grease? Yeah, a little bit of there. Okay. Not a whole lot. Let's go ahead and toss right. that in there. Just like this? Yep. There and we go. what I do here is I sear it for about a minute on each side. Okay. Um, and I say each side, there's on a filet like this, a center cut portion, there's really four sides to the steak. Right. You know, if you're cooking an inch thick ribeye or porterhouse, you know, there's two sides. This, given the round texture, round um, shape of it, right. there's really four sides. So we'll hit it on all four sides for about a minute. Um, on each side? On each side. So you're really just giving it a nice sear. We're getting a real nice sear on it. And then let me guess, you're gonna put it in the oven. And we're gonna put it in the oven. I knew it. The oven's preheated to 400. Mm -hmm. Probably ought to shut that, keep the heat in there. Um, it's preheated to 400. This is really the most efficient way to cook a steak. It's, in an oven, you've got a controlled environment. The temperature is even. Mm -hmm. You're on a grill, you're opening, you're shutting, the, there's flame ups, whatnot. But this is really the easiest way to do a steak mm. inside. You can see we're getting a nice sear on the mm -hmm. steak there. We're going to get all four so sides pretty. of it. What that sear does is it locks in the flavor, mm -hmm. but then just kind of gets the cooking process going. Right. As opposed Love to just pop it in the oven at 400 degrees. Real quick, degrees. what do you got over here for size? This is the base of our sauce. This is the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. um, I've sauteed them in butter and wine. Red wine. Got to have the wine. Yes. Um, a lot of people like to saute their mushrooms or vegetables in white wine. I like doing a red wine just because I like the color that it's going to bring out. And it and goes good with the meat. It goes good with the meat. That's right. Then I've sauteed some green beans and garlic. Oh, is that what's in there? Mm -hmm. Just okay. in butter. Something easy. You know, minimal ingredients. Salt, it's not pepper. bacon, that's garlic. That's garlic. Ah. You know, minimal man, ingredients, nice. salt, pepper, garlic, green beans, okay. butter, wine, mushrooms. That's easy. I don't like to, you know, overdo you it, it with 600, 620 different ingredients. So now we've got a good sear on that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and pop this guy back in the oven. Now you've got, you've got um, a, a wine tasting that I want everybody to know about real quick. It's on August 7th. VIP wine tasting at your place. Yes. Uh, and I have to say, the place is over by uh, Stonebriar Mall. Just for the girls, yeah, you know, you'll know though. where that is. <laughs> right by just the south mall. of 121 on uh -huh. Houston. So through the magic of so television. If they, but let me just finish yep, that. Go ahead. If they want to come, they can sign up. Is that right? If anybody wants to come to this wine tasting, they can sign up. Um, uh, on our, what, I don't know. We're gonna... Yeah, I think in the next couple of weeks they're going to start taking reservations for that. And, and how do we get them information? I'm not sure. Okay, I think we're you guys will probably out. broadcast that. We're going to broadcast that. Next week. Next week. <laughs> next week. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, I know you're going to want to plate this. You got that yep, pulled out of the oven. Our steak is done. What we're going to do, we've got the oh, mushrooms you done. Wine. You brought yep, wine. Help yourself. So we got the mushrooms done. Uh -huh. I reduced the sauce down to barely any liquid. Okay. And then we're just going to toss in the blue cheese. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. You're not kidding around. Nope. Hey, I love blue cheese. Man, I could put blue cheese on anything. A lot and of people don't, but I love it, and it, it's a perfect accompaniment to the steak. 
All right, that sounds good. The wine it's you're delicious. drinking is awesome. It's a 2008 Palazzo. It's a red blend. It is um, Merlot, basically, okay. or, or not basically, mostly Merlot. Cab Franc Cabernet. I love it. Matt, you're the best. I love your place. Yeah, I love your stuff. family. And uh, I want everybody to go check y'all out. They are awesome. Good, good people. And be sure to check them out. It's Matador Meat and Wine in Plano. And they're open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 7, on Sundays from 11 to 5. Like I said, they're located on Preston Road, uh, right there by Stonebriar Mall. You can get details about uh, all, their, all that they have to offer there on their site. And it's matadormeat.com, or you can call them 972 three seven seven six three two eight all right we're gonna get to eat here and next we're heading over to the troubadour texas listening room to check out a group called people on vacation i love that stick around awesome can we give it another minute just to see if it comes out right so grab a bottle of wine we're gonna drink all night 